Hi, my name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply, and today we're going to be demonstrating a piece of equipment called the MiniScan. This is from a company called Bonanza Labs, and it allows us to analyze biodiesel and vegetable oil to find out what the free fatty acid level is in both biodiesel and oil, and also find out what the total glycerin levels are. Um, the kit comes pre-packaged in a really nice container that you can take with you out into your lab. It's a industrial piece of equipment. Um, there's three sets of tests that you can do with the piece of equipment. First one is called a total glycerin test and all the samples, uh, tubes and everything that you'll need will be in here. Uh, you can do a free fatty acid test. In this you'll have everything included for doing those tests. And then you can also perform a acid number test. And again, everything is in here. Inside your kit, you will find a mini scan analyzer, a heater block, pipette tips, three pipetters, power supplies for the equipment, and a uh, portable disc that you can plug into here, a flash disc. We'll take each of these out, we'll set everything up, and we'll get started. To set the equipment up, you remove everything from the package and uh, it's as simple as plugging the power cords in. This actually has a battery in it. This is the scanner itself. This one is our heating unit and we can turn that on and it will begin to heat up to the specified rate. We won't be using that right away. These are pipette tips. How these work is you attach a tip to a pipetter, such as this, and then you'll be able to use it. So we'll be using these today. And then you also are going to take the USB drive and plug it into the back of the uh, scanner itself. And that's so that we'll be able to transfer the data that we that this machine records from here to a computer. It makes it really nice. The first test that we're going to do is a free fatty acid test. What you need to do is unpack your box, which I've done. You'll find various uh, tube test tubes with different colored lids, and you'll need your pipette tips. You'll need the 150 microliter pipetter itself, and you'll need some oil that you're going to sample. I'm gonna, I have two different oil samples from two different sources that we'll sample. We're going to be performing a free fatty acid test using the mini scan. To do this, to start off, we press the free fatty acid button. We're going to calibrate this machine. To calibrate it, we press the calibrate button and we're going to press continue. It's going to ask for a blank tube. The gray cap tubes are our blank tubes. Put that in, pull it out. Okay, and now the machine is ready for us to prepare our reagent tubes or calibrator tubes. We're going to pick up a 150 microliter pipetter pick up a pipette tip, remove the top from a yellow cap tube. This has liquid already in it, it's all prepared. I'm going to get some solution there, put it in there. And we're going to do the same thing with the green one. 150 microliters. We cap them and we need to shake this fairly vigorously to mix that up. Shake this one fairly vigorously as well. You'll notice that the colors are a little bit different and that's that's actually what this machine reads is color and it translates that into results. So to calibrate we take our first one, the yellow one, Put it in, remove it, put the green one in, remove it. Calibration is successful. We go ahead and save this. That's how we calibrate. To do a free fatty acid test, you're going to need your reagent, a gray cap tube, a blue cap tube, a 150 microliter pipetter, and a 100 microliter pipetter, pipette tips in the machine. We're going to test two samples of oil that we picked up from two different sources. We don't know what their free fatty acid level is, so it's a wonderful opportunity to use this test. 
To start a test, it's real simple. Again, you walk up to the machine, you get it into the free fatty acid mode. We've already calibrated it, so now all we do is choose run test. It asks us to enter the blank, so again we take the blank, put it in, pull it out. Now we're actually ready to do our test number one. To do that, we're going to put 100 microliters of our sample into a blue tube. So we'll remove the cap of that. Oil is fairly thick and it's important that you make sure that you don't get any air bubbles in this piece right here. If you pull too quick and pull up, you can do that, so make sure it's all in there. I'm going to put a hundred microliters in our that sample there. Then what we're going to do is put a hundred and fifty microliters of the reagent into the same test tube. And again, make sure that you don't get bubbles. Put it in. And cap it. And shake this fairly vigorously. And once you've got it shaken, you're ready to actually do the test. Now you're going to put this sample into the tester twice. Put it in. Remove it. Put it in. Remove it. Okay. And the test is done. Now what the test has indicated here is it shows you the concentration of free fatty acid. And we've done two replicates and then down at the bottom. So this is 0.35%. So that's incredibly good oil. Um, extremely good oil. Uh, we had a good idea that that was the case. This oil is pretty much brand new. But so 0.35%, you can record that. I'm going to choose uh, next to do a second sample, and we're basically going to repeat the same process. I'm going to go start our next test on the machine. Okay. Put it in once, remove it, put it in again, remove it, and this tells us what this sample is. So this was a little bit higher. This came out at point, actually a little bit lower, 0.282%, which is our concentration right here. So this oil is fairly good as well. So 0.282% free fatty acid, and our other one uh, was a little bit higher. Um, we're going to choose done at this point, and the machine itself is now going to feed this data right onto this card, this USB flash stick that we'll be able to look at later in a computer. And uh, that's, that's really how simple it is to do free fatty acid testing. To perform an acid number test, remove your acid number vials and get your samples out that you're going to use. You're also going to be using your 150 microliter pipetter exclusively for this test. And you'll need the pipette tips and some put your tips in when you're done. Um, to start this test, we press the acid number button on the machine. And again, whenever you get your new test, you're going to need to calibrate this test. And so we're going to be pushing the calibrate button. And we'll do a calibration. Uh, calibrations are good for about 30 days. Uh, to start a calibration, again, you're going to remove one of your blank tubes, put it in, pull it out, and now it's time to prepare our calibrators. To do this, we're going to be using a yellow and green tube. We will remove the tops of those. And the kit again comes with a reagent. You'll just open your reagent. And we're going to put 150 milliliters of reagent into each tube. So pick up your pipette tip, fill it up, make sure that there's no bubbles, put that in. You'll notice I've got bubbles in this so I need to redo that so I don't have any bubbles. Put that in, okay, put that on 
here. Screw the cap back on. And we want to shake these fairly vigorously. In preparation for doing the test, you'll insert the yellow tube first. Pull it out. And put the green one in. Pull it out. And if everything went well, your machine will indicate calibration is successful. And we can go ahead and save. And now we can get on to running the test. To do this test, we have three samples of oil from various sources. And we're going to be using the purple capped items. And uh, we will be putting a little bit of sample in each one of those and then using the machine again to do it. So to start it, we're going to push run test. Again, we're going to put a blank in. Pull the blank out. Open our reagent. And we're now going to prepare each one of these. So again, using the 150 microliter pipette, remove a tip. I'm going to do three samples today. So uh, suck up 150 milliliters of our sample A again. Make sure that you don't get bubbles in the tip of your pipetter. Want to make sure oil is fairly thick, and sometimes it can take a while to suck that up until you get no bubbles. So put that in. It's important that you use new tips for each sample that you're drawing from. And then to prepare the rest of the samples, we use our reagent B, 150 microliters. For this one we can use the same tip as long as we don't get that tip down in our sample. So. We then replace the caps on the tubes that we're using. We're going to shake these vigorously and then we can get started testing. We'll test our oil sample B first. Shake these fairly vigorously. Put it into the machine. It's all ready to test. Pull that out. It's going to ask us to put it in twice. Okay. Its acid number was 0.5. So B, 0.5. To do the next one, we just grab our next test tube and shake it vigorously. Put it in, pull it out. Again, when you're done doing all your samples, press done. The machine will transfer the data over to your flash drive. When it's done blinking, you're done. You'll be able to remove it, put it in the computer, and read the results. And that's how to do acid number. We're going to do the total glycerin test. This test is important that when you get the samples that you refrigerate them down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If you refrigerate them, they say at the factory they're good for a couple months. If you keep them unrefrigerated, um, two to three weeks, and you probably are going to need a new test. This test comes with enough samples to perform 10 tests. I've already done some. It has red caps and gray caps and then the reagents. To perform the total glycerin test, uh, you're going to need your 50 microliter pipetter, a 100 microliter pipetter, the samples that you're going to test, a blank, dilution tubes, and the enzyme tubes. <clears throat> You'll also need your pipette tips, the machine, and I keep a pad paper handy just to write down, uh, record the results as we go. The machine has already been calibrated. If you'd like to see how to calibrate it, check out the instructional videos at Bonanza Labs website or at our website. To start the test, you just choose total glycerin test and run the test. We're going to take a blank tube, put it in, pull it out, and now it's time to prepare our samples. To do that, you're going to need to put 200 microliters of your sample into a dilution tube, which is one of the gray cap tubes. 
and then you'll take 50 microliters of that and put it into the enzyme tube to perform the test. So we'll get started here. We've got biodiesel that was made from coconut oil, believe it or not, which is why it's so clear. So 100 microliters to start off with. Remove our cap. One. Two. Cap it. And you invert this three times. One, two, three. Good and mixed. Next, we take our 50 microliter pipette, pick it up. We pull 50 microliters out of the dilution tube. Put it into our testing vial. Again, we cap that. Invert it one, two, and three, and we put it into the mini scan. And now it's asking us to wait the 10 minutes, so we're going to remove it. And this is actually where our heating block comes into play. So the machine is now going to count down for 10 minutes. Okay, in it goes. Pull it out. Again, we, it always does two replicates. Pull it out. And we can read the test. So this one is reading 0.034. So we actually have 0.34% total glycerin. So uh, the limit for ASTM is 24. 24. So this biodiesel is actually um, out of ASTM specification. Now it's fairly old. Um, there could be a lot of reasons why it was out, but net net test saved us from using fuel that was bad. We're going to perform a total glycerin test on a second sample. To do that again we press the total glycerin. Our test is already calibrated or the machines. So we're going to run our test. We're going to put in our blank. Pull that out. Now we're ready to prep our sample. This biodiesel has a really cool light color to it. Smells real good, but we'll see how we are with total glycerin. And put it in the tester, pull it out, and it's time to incubate. Again, we'll run this for 10 minutes, we'll come back and uh, check it and see what our total glycerin is. Okay, so in we go. This fuel tested really, really good. This is 0.009 or 0.09% total glycerin, um, which means this fuel would meet ASTM standard, which is awesome. We've got really, really good fuel here. And uh, that's how you do a total glycerin test.